Hello everyone! As you might be able to tell from the theme of this channel, I really, really like Godot. However, there's been one feature that's been bugging me ever since I started working with it, and that feature is script navigation. Now, what do I even mean by that? Well, if, for example, I wanted to see what the function does, I could control click on this function, and yeah, I see that it does some things, and then it calls another function. Well, if I wanted to see what this does, I could control click again and finally see whatever this function did. Now that I'm satisfied, I simply want to go back. In most editors, you would do that by simply pressing the shortcut control, shift and tab. Now, if I do it here, I get a completely new script that I didn't even touch before. Now, if I look closely, I might notice that this script is actually the first script in a different scene. So what Control shift tab and also what Control tab does is to navigate between scenes and not to navigate between scripts. So then uh, how would I be able to navigate between scripts? Well, one thing that I could do would be to notice that here I have an arrow. So yeah, if I simply press this arrow, I should be able to get back. But it's still not working properly. What's happening? It took me to the top of the current script. Well, maybe that was just a bug. Maybe let's press it again. Now it's not even selecting the first line. Okay, let's press again. And I am finally in the previous script. And let's press again at the top of the previous script. Let's press again and I'm finally at the beginning from where I started. Now what this arrow does is to actually take you back in the cursor's history. So what do I mean by that? Well, if I control click on this function, what Godot does under the hood is to go at the top of the file. It found the file, then it clicks at the beginning and then it goes down and finds the function and it clicks here. And that's why whenever I undo, it takes me to the beginning and then it takes me to <laughs> the other file. Okay, so this is really not helping. Now, what else could I do? Well, Godot has some very, very useful navigation functions which I could use to navigate to whatever file I wanted. So, for example, maybe I want to navigate to another scene. What I could do is to press Ctrl, Shift and O and it allows me to go to whatever scene I want. Now, the drawback of this is that I have to keep in mind the name of all the scenes that I might want to navigate to. Okay, but maybe a better option would be to directly go to a certain script and it would be much easier because here I have the list of all the scripts so I don't really have to keep them in mind. So for example, if I wanted to go to specialcard.gd, what I could do would be to press Ctrl, Alt and O and uh, by pressing those, I can write, for example, special card and you see that it found specialcard.gd. Now, this is nice and all, but I still have to make the conscious effort of writing all these things down. And I also have to take a look here to see what the script was called. And yeah, it's going to take some time. Maybe I just want to go back. Okay, now before I show you another way in which we can do this, I'm going to also show you that by pressing Shift, Alt and O, I'm going to be able to see both the scenes and the script. So you might be able to search among everything if you want to find something in particular. Okay, but now that we know how to navigate to a script or to a scene of which the name is known, then maybe we want to navigate to a function. And I actually can do that if I press Ctrl, Shift and F, and this is going to find among all my files, whatever I am searching here. So I could basically search for apply special art effects. Sorry for the keys down here. <laughs> and I can press find and you'll see that it finds all definitions of this function. And I can click on that and maybe more easily navigate. However, what I want is the classic solution that allows me to navigate forward and backwards. Godot has another ace up its sleeve by allowing us to use a shortcut to navigate between scripts. Now let's simulate again that I'm going to the supply cart effects and then to this one. And let's say that we want to go back. Well, I could be using the control shift comma to go back or control shift point to go forward. And this is going to navigate between these files. So if I now press control shift and comma, I have an issue again. <laughs> and the issue is that 
it went it definitely went up in this hierarchy however i didn't want to get to the board manager i wanted to get to the previous script which was the transformation manager so okay why did that happen well because this special card is in the middle so if i put this special card down here now if i press Control shift comma you'll see that it takes me to the transformation manager and then if i press again it takes me to the board manager and if i press Control shift point it takes me forward and i can press again and it takes me forward again but of course if i have here like 20 scripts open i'm not going to want to arrange them all just because Godot doesn't start them in the order that I want. Now what's happening here is that by default Godot loads all these scripts in alphabetical order. So what if I wanted Godot to load the scripts in the order in which I have opened them? Well, finally there is a solution. We can go to the editor, editor settings, and in here I can write script list and you'll see that this script list has sort scripts by and you can set none. And if you set none, if I now open these scripts, this one and then this one, you see that they are automatically ordered in the order in which I opened them, which is exactly what I want. And if I now press Ctrl Shift and comma, it takes me back to the previous script. If I press Ctrl Shift and point, it takes me back forward and it's exactly the order in which I opened this. All right, now I've been working with Godot for almost two years and I'm so, so happy that I finally found this solution because I really, really missed being able to navigate between files. So I hope this helped you and I hope you're going to use it. And if you got to this point in the video and you are not yet subscribed, I would really, really appreciate it if you did because I'm really looking forward to getting to 10,000 subscribers. So, thanks again for watching, thanks to my coffee supporters and members, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye! <laughs>